In this class, I am discussing about nature of the roots of the quadratic equation. Nature of the roots. ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0, a is not equal to 0. Find the nature of the roots without solving the quadratic equation. How to do? Nature of the roots depends on discriminant that is delta is equal to b square minus 4ac. We know that discriminant delta is equal to already the discriminant is familiar in previous classes that is delta is equal to delta is equal to discriminant is equal to b square minus 4ac. Find the nature of the quadratic equation using delta. Using delta. Nature of the roots depends on delta. Case 1. In that quadratic equation, coefficients A, B, C belongs to real values, real numbers. Real numbers. A b c or taking real numbers the first one a delta greater than 0 roots are real and distinct real and distinct real and distinct real and distinct. distinct. If delta greater than 0, roots are real and distinct, real and distinct. Taking one example, x square minus 3x plus 2 is equal to 0. Here a is equal to x square coefficient 1, b is equal to minus 3, c is equal to, c is equal to find the delta. Delta is equal to we know b square minus 4ac, b square minus 4ac that equal to what is b value minus 3 whole square 4ac 1 to 2 that equal to 9 minus 8 that equal to 1. The delta value is equal to 1, discriminant is equal to 1. It is greater than 0, it is greater than 0. It is greater than 0. So, roots are real and distinct. Roots are real and distinct. Second one, B. Delta is equal to 0. Roots real and equal. Real and equal. If delta discriminant b square minus 4ac is equal to 0, roots are real and distinct. See one example here, taking one example, x square minus 4x plus 4 is equal to 0. x square minus 4x plus 4 is equal to 0. What is a value here? a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 4, c is equal to 4. These three values substitute in this discriminant delta b square minus 4ac is equal to what is b? What is b minus 4 whole square? 4ac. 16 minus 16. 4 into 1, 4, 4, 4 just 16. This equal to 0. It is uh, equal to 0. Delta is equal to 0. It is also equal to 0. If delta is equal to 0, roots real and equal. 
without solving the quadratic equation we have to tell the nature of the quadratic equations how we have to find the nature of the quadratic equations third one is c case if delta less than 0 proves complex and conjugate to each other conjugate to each other that is alpha plus or i beta alpha plus or minus i beta if delta less than 0 discriminant less than 0 roots are complex and uh, conjugate to each other conjugate to each other nothing but one root is plus connecting with alpha i beta another rooting another root connecting with minus alpha i beta an example x square plus 2x plus 3 is equal to 0 a value is equal to 1 b2 c3 delta is equal to b square minus 4 a c is equal to 4 minus 12 that is equal to minus 8 it is less than 0 delta value is minus 8 less than minus 8 that is less than 0 so roots are complex and conjugate to each other is very very important if delta less than 0 then roots are complex and conjugate to each other the roots are linked with one is plus and other is minus Next case 2, we are taking the values a comma b comma c belongs to rational numbers. We are taking the coefficients a or a comma b comma c belongs to rational numbers. The first one as delta greater than 0 and it is a perfect square roots then roots are rational and distinct rational and distinct taking one example x square minus 3x plus 2 is equal to 0. Here a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 3, c is equal to what is the delta b square minus 4ac? Find the nature of the roots of the quadratic equation without solving. We have to do with the discriminant. Discriminant as b square minus 4ac delta has b square minus 4ac substituting these three values in this delta minus 3 whole square 4 into 1 into 2 that equal 9 minus side that equal to 1 this is greater than 0 so roots are rational and distinct rational and distinct we have to find nature those roots are rational rational or irrational without solving using discriminant find the nature nature nothing but only rational or distinct don't find numbers nature nothing but rational and distinct and the second one delta greater than 0 
is not a perfect is not a perfect square then roots irrational until and conjugate that is alpha plus or beta square root of beta alpha plus or minus square root of beta alpha plus or minus square root of beta taking one example x square plus 3x minus 2 here a is equal to 1 b is equal to 3 c is equal to delta b 3 square minus 4 into 1 into minus 2 sorry minus 2 9 plus 8 17 it is greater than 0 it is not a perfect what are the perfect numbers 1 4 9 16 25 but 17 is not a perfect square number so it is a delta greater than 0 the 17 value is great greater than 0 so roots are irrationals and conjugate to each other that is uh, alpha plus or minus square root of beta first root is linked with the plus the second root is uh, linked with the minus of alpha and square root of beta Delta is equal to 0, roots are rational and equal. See an example x square minus 4x plus 4 is equal to 0, x square minus 4x plus 4 is equal to 0, a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 4, c is equal to 4 what is delta is equal to minus 4 whole square minus 4 into 1 into 4 minus 4 whole square minus 4 into 1 into 4 16 minus 16 that is equal to 0 it is also equal to 0 so roots are rational and equal if delta is equal to 0 roots are rational and equal take one example x square minus 4x plus 4 is equal to 0 we have to read delta is equal to 0 that is delta is equal to 0 so roots are rational and equal next to last one d if delta less than 0 roots are complex and conjugate to each other see one example x square plus 2x plus 3 is equal to 0 we are taking delta less than 0 we are comparison of b values less of all questions delta 2 square minus 4 into 1 into 3 4 minus 12 that is equal to minus 8 less than 0 the delta value is minus 8 that is less than 0 so roots are complex and conjugate to each other that is alpha plus or minus i beta 